ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Don't you know it's us we must trust? We must learn ourselves. We must learn the way. The only way is truth. The only way is love. The only way to go is to grow and evolve. And once you learn the key to success, that'll be the truth of what Hey, blessings and abundance. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace and abundance. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, so today's, um, this is another reading. And this reading is about, um, is there a love spell on me? Ooh, did somebody put a, I put a spell on you because you're mine. <laughs> okay. Somebody trying to put a spell on you. Okay. Who did that? Okay. For some of you guys, you're just trying to move on and you know, you looking back because you're just like, damn, did I leave something behind? <laughs> You try to run off and leave and then there's other people, you know, there's people that's trying to run off with your stuff and they trying to look back to see if you're catching them. Okay. Yeah. It might be a fire sign that stole some of yours or just try to play you or took something of yours and you just trying to, um, you know, be finding yourself through the loss that you experience. Okay. And the treachery that has, that has happened to you, but you won't be straight. You know, so people try to steal your identity. They try to steal your, you know what I mean, your your resources. You know, try to steal your time. They try to steal your energy. The motherfuckers gonna get paid out, okay? Because you said it. You know, you realize that you have power in your words, so you recognize your power, okay? So did this? Did somebody put a love spell on you, okay? And then what? You know, what was it? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do four. I'm being told to do four, okay? So four groups, okay? I put a spell on you because you're mine. Yes. So you, so somebody's trying to put. <laughs> this is about putting a spell on you. Mm -hmm. We put a spell. They put a spell on the wrong one. And you're mine. <laughs> you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, yeah, love. I'm going to keep this two of cups out because I need you to see, because that's about love. So if somebody put a spell on you, it's about love. Can you stop it? Sorry, guys. I got I got a little, uh, not a little, I got a distractor here. Can you stand the rain? Can you stand it? These I might be gonna um try to edit all that. I'm not gonna edit that part, okay? Because you're gonna see my face because my little my child is trying to distract me. And you know what I'm saying? They need to just stop. Okay. I'm with you. Let me do my thing, okay? Alright. I love to do this. I love this, okay? Don't stop what I love, okay? Don't come in and interrupt my love, all right? Can you stand the rain? Can you stand it? The, the days will come. This one's no one better. I don't know the words. I <laughs> darling, darling, can you stand the rain? All right. These are so no better. Baby, can you? All right. So we got four groups. Um, no, nope, I'm not going to put this one. No. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to use these cards. I was going to add another deck, but not being guided to it. Okay. So here we got, we got group one, group two, because you know, we got people in our lives that we just really like and we can't get them out. Three. Four, okay. All right, so I put a spell on you. Group one. Group two. Group three. And group four, okay. So take a deep breath and pick the number that resonates with you, okay. So we're doing group one. Did someone put a spell on you, okay. All right, no. 
Okay, so no one put a they did not put a spell on you. And it's funny because this is the this came in reverse, and that's that's like the wand magic wand to me. Okay, when I look at this one, so no one put a spell on you. Okay, but the reason you're just you're just hurting from this loss of this person in that relationship, and you know the portrayals of people, and you know you're just being you know this was just you learning a lesson. Okay, so there was some karma that needed to be cleared, and that's why you know it was so hard. To let go and move on because it was a lesson that you had to learn from this connection, okay? So there was no spell put on you, but the, the heartache and the pain and you feeling so tied to this person, that's because of, you know, you having to learn a lesson, you having to grow, you having to just um, understand yourself on a different level, okay? All right, so that was for group one. Thank you so much for tuning in. These are quick, all right? Um... And um, please like and share and subscribe. And if you like, you can check out my Sage Wisdom, um, Raunchy Times, okay? That's my other channel, okay? And that is for more explicit videos for adults, okay? All right, so we're going to go to group two. Group two, okay? Um, wait, matter of fact, I'm going to give you an affirmation for group one. Um, your affirmation is, I adore myself. I adore myself, okay? So... Thank you, peace. And we're going to go to group two. All right. Did someone put a spell on you? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yikes. So this, somebody put a spell on you, okay? And it's a love spell. Um, maybe, um, yeah, this person um, tried to put a spell on you. And it's kind of like the spell that was placed upon you was more so to kind of um, block your clarity, try to block you from creativity, creative endeavors. They use sex magic. Some of these people, for some of you guys, it was sex magic used. For others of you guys, they took something of yours and use it um, to um, be in control of you, to see that you didn't know your power, so you can remember who you were, um, to stop you from growing, to stop you from being creative, um, you know, stepping outside of yourself, to stop you from... Um, finding true love to stop you from making better decisions this person really put some work in they really put some work in okay yes they did they put some work in on you okay and um they was out there putting that magic in they was putting that work down they might even be a fire sign fire or earth sign who did this but they definitely put that work in on you and um yeah um, yeah Um, yeah, yeah, you might have to have somebody, um, you might have to have somebody do something to break that spell. Okay. Um, to help you because whatever magic they put, it was real strong. So you might need some help to break that spell. Okay. That's for some of you guys. Let me see. Okay, no. Okay. I thought I was going to check and see if the spell was broken. Yeah, no. The spell has not been broken, okay? Nope. Um, and the reason that it has not been broken is because there's something you need to realize about this whole thing and how it happened and why it happened. Okay, so that spell has not been broken. The reason is, is because they need for you to do, there's something you need to realize or know. And that means basically asking somebody for help. So now you know that there was a spell put on you and now you can do, you can um, find someone to help you because you need help to get to break this. Okay, so yes, they put a, somebody put a spell on you. Okay. Okay, and they said, I put a spell on you because you're mine. They said, you mine, baby. Eesh, creeps. Um, okay, so listen to the buttons. Thank you so much. And your affirmation is, um, I trust the divine to guide me to the right people to help me on my journey. I trust the divine to guide me to the right people that will help me on my journey. Okay. So much love and blessings and abundance to you. I thank you so much for tuning in and I love you so much. Peace and abundance. Boom, boom. Okay. And, and check out my sage wisdom, raunchy times. If you're interested in getting, um, if you're interested in more explicit videos. Okay. Peace. All right. So now we're going to group three. Somebody put a spell on you. Okay, so no, 
no to the no to the no no but you definitely have been hurting you your heart has been broken that is just pain you must feel as you break up with someone as you move on and you know you've been feeling some type of guilt and shame and you're being guided how to find your power again find your power again so that you can remove yourself from feeling like stuck feeling like you can't move on feeling like you can't let go feeling like you can't uh move ahead okay so was there a spell put on you hell to the no okay this is just pain that we all feel mentally, emotionally, and physically from losing people or people leaving us, okay? So there was no spell put on you. Um, just it's time to find your best foot. It's time to find your power. It's time for you to stop looking for love outside of yourself and find yourself, find your love within you, okay? Because it's all about the love within you. You have the love, you have the power, and it's within you, okay? And so your affirmation is, um, I trust in the divinity within me. I trust in the divinity within me, okay? So please, and take some time to love on yourself, okay? I love you so much. Peace and abundance. Please like and subscribe and check out my Sage Wisdom raunchy times, okay? Check out that channel and subscribe, okay? That's more explicit videos for more adults, okay? Comedy and everything, all right? So peace, peace, baby. All right, guys, going to group to group four, all right? I'm gonna go to group four. All right. Has someone put a spell on you? Okay. So let me, let me just. This is more like chords, not really spell. Like there's attachments to this relationship. That's really more so what's happening with this one, okay? Yeah, it's more like cords and attachments. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is more like you've bonded yourself to this person and this situation. And, um, you know, this is caused an imbalance and a discord in your life. And so things have, that you're supposed to be victorious in have not taken place, you know, um, because you know you're hurting and stuff so you just there's a lot of struggle energy that's taking place like maybe there's a divorce and there's a relationship but there's a lot of cords that were just intertwined with you and this person and it just kept wrapping itself around you and that person and that's what it is it's not it is not a it's not a, a a spell but it felt like a spell because you were with this person for whatever time and you guys really um created cords that really keep you a fear of experiencing each other's situations instead of you experiencing your own thing and they're experiencing their own things. And that's what it is. So this might be an earth sign, a fire, um, you know, and so they're just saying that, you know, you have the power in this. So there's no spell put on you in this one. This is more so you just were really deeply in love and you really created these cords and attachments to each other. So this is more like an attachment. There's not have nothing to do with cords. I mean, spells. This is just uh, like a uh, um, just cords and attachments. OK, and so you got to work on releasing yourself from the cords and attachments of this relationship. OK, um, but yeah, it's OK to be sad. It's OK to cry. It's OK to feel things out. Um, but yes, it's OK to walk away. And it, even if you guys are in a situation where they walked away from you and it hurts, it's OK to feel that pain. But know that you are eventually you are in the end, the king, the queen. You are stable. You are strong. You are grounded. You understand things and you don't have to stay sad anymore about it okay and you know it takes time to heal but you just got to work on releasing yourself from cords and attachments that is what this situation is about it's just cords it's nothing to do with a spell it's just cords and attachments that you that you have that has been created from you being with this person for a time however long that was okay so um blessings and abundance okay and i send you love okay and we're going to take a moment and you're going to take a deep breath and breathe in and out so that you can just kind of like take your time and just, you know, um, detach. You got to detach from this person. It's about detaching. OK, learning to detach from these particular energies. All right. And so thank you so much for tuning in. Your affirmation is I am well aware of who I truly am and I'm OK with detachment. I'm, a, I'm well aware of who I truly am and I'm okay with the attachment, okay? So, blessings and abundance. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more adult explicit videos, the Sage Wisdom, 
Raunchy Tales, okay? And that's my other YouTube channel. Lots of love to you guys. Feel free to um, send me an email message or whatever. And peace and abundance. Have a beautiful, blissful day. Peace out. Love you.